In the Middle East, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met today in Tel Aviv with Israeli President, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as details emerged about a Hamas response to a ceasefire proposal for Gaza. Negotiators described the reply from Hamas as, quote, positive, but the group's counterproposal includes the Israeli military completely withdrawing from Gaza, and that provision could put a deal in jeopardy. International correspondent Sarah Coates is in Tel Aviv with new details on the proposed deal and the response from Israel this morning. Well, a massive day of diplomacy for the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken holding meetings with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. After that, he'll be speaking to the IDF Chief of Staff Herzi Halevi, then the Defence Minister Yoav Gallant, and finally Israel's President Isaac Herzog before heading to the West Bank, to Ramallah, to visit the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Hamas has given a counter offer to this Paris framework. It is a three phase plan, each phase lasting 45 days. From what we understand, the first stage would see Hamas exchange female prisoners, the elderly, those who are sick, in exchange for female and children, Palestinian prisoners being held in Israeli jails. Now, the second phase would be the remaining male hostages, while the third phase, 45 days, as I mentioned, would see an agreement brokered to end the war and also the reconstruction of Gaza. Now, it is understood, according to this counter offer by Hamas, that it wants 1,500 Palestinian prisoners released. Israeli media is now reporting that that is completely unacceptable, citing senior officials here saying that they cannot agree to these demands. And this is where the Secretary of State Blinken steps in. He is trying to get these parties to come to some sort of an agreement. The United States, of course, sees this as crucial to stabilising the region, although there is certainly not much optimism here on the ground in Israel, given what we've been hearing from the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu from his war cabinet that this fighting will continue until Israel achieves its goals, and that is defeating Hamas in the Gaza Strip and making sure it never poses a threat like it did on October 7. It certainly will be very tough for Blinken during this last leg of his crisis tour to try and broker some sort of a deal that all parties are OK with. Sarah Coates, Scripps News, Tel Aviv.